1967 is when I first became chairman. And the tribe didn't even have a decent place to meet, but <clears throat> I was surrounded by people that were interested in the community. There were some elderly people. There was Anna John and Irene Moore and Amelia Cornelius and Alma Webster, the treasurer, and Joy Moon, and a lot of different people that were interested in the community upgrading it. There weren't, there was no money for salaries. There were, I think they had five hours a, a meeting for a business committee, and it was a four or five business committee members. But these people, before we had the casino, they were able to get federal grants. And the first uh, grant we got was for the Civic Center. It's a gymnasium now. And Sonny King was involved in that. And then uh, we got these grants through federal agencies. Uh, Civic Center was the first one. Then we got the post office building where enrollments is now. Later on, we got the nursing home, Anna John Nursing Home. That was through grants. And these people that were involved in it, uh, and Sandy Ninham was involved in developing uh, bingo games. And the people that worked at the bingo games were volunteers that were mostly family. And they worked it up to where we could pay the people for working there. So as we went went along, well, I was surrounded by the, these kind of people that were interested in the community, and that's why I, ser I was able to serve uh, for 23 years as tribal chairman. And the salaries weren't very good at the time, and because of not having monies available, then we got grant to have the health center and everything else that's around here. If these people are interested in helping their people, you know, they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. They uh, talk about helping their people. Well, if they really want to help their people, they ought to think a lot about all these expenses that we endure. So we got our own school, high school, and we got everything here that we need. So I just hope they would think of the future generation that we have. Well, I don't have much much else to think about it. I mean. <laughs>